So it is wonderful to see you all here and to be here. Rabbi Sisson Wine is welcoming the rest of our um, community on Zoom. And um, for those of you who are here at our annual meeting, thank you for being here um, and supporting our community in these important ways. I think about our Parsha this week, Baha Alotacha. Mm. My favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it was still that portion. <laughs> and um, reflecting. <laughs> Why is it your favorite? It was my bat mitzvah oh, portion. Okay. <laughs> and reflecting on. Do you want to give your Devar Torah? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> on how it opens with some of the most beautiful language in our Torah. Really about the power of or the importance that each person has, which I've talked about many, many times about bringing light, but it actually talks about the physical menorah and illuminating it each and every day and that the, the people who worked in the, in the temple and each person, each one of us, has part of that responsibility for bringing forth the goodness in the world to illuminate that light. Um, so let's, before we join together with everybody on Zoom, let's turn to one another Greet each other with a Shabbat Shalom, perhaps bring some light into this space, and then we'll come together in song. <laughs> Yeah, I know. 
Asher for joining us tonight, um, not just because he's an excellent song leader and uh, prayer worship leader, but uh, it's a really big help because I still can't really play the guitar fully. So I'm really grateful that you're with us this evening. Uh, Rabbi Sherman, shall we kindle the Shabbos candles yes. tonight? <clears throat> Rabbi yes. Sussanwine, welcome. Cantor Zell, on the anniversary of your bat mitzvah. <laughs> Would you, uh, Baha where we talk about illuminating oh, lights? Oh, Yefema Ode, Yefema Ode. Will you please light our Shabbat candles? Bebakasha. Let me light it first before bringing it in. What do you remember about your bat mitzvah? Uh, <laughs> I remember a lot, but I remember I loved leading shacharit for my community, especially um, getting to Davin Ashrei very quickly and showing them my Hebrew fluency. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Always an overachiever. All right, here we go. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech So you mentioned the proficiency on your bat mitzvah day, and we have bar mitzvah students here tonight. We sure do. About a, an hour ago, I was reading an article because the Philadelphia Phillies, which is my Philly. team before I moved to Boston, have a catcher now who is a Jewish guy. And so they asked him about his Judaism. This is the real deal. This is not a story I'm making up. Um, and he said his bar mitzvah was instrumental in who he became because it gave him confidence mm. and courage that he could get up and do anything. And he remembers that as he steps up to the plate. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is really amazing. And I'm looking at Elliot and Cooper, who will do the same thing tomorrow. And I forgot, Rabbi, at my bat mitzvah, the president said, we're looking for a cantor. Have you thought about becoming a cantor? <laughs> and I said, no, I haven't. But here we are. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anything's possible. Page 130, let's celebrate Shabbat together. Lechu neranena Together, as we welcome our Sabbath bride, come, beloved Sabbath bride, page 138. Shamor <laughs> Shamor 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
for the words of Shema, page 152. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Let's join together words of Via Hafta, page 154. <laughs> Behayu advarim ha'ele, asher anochim et savecha, hayom al levavecha, veshinantam levanecha, vedibarta baham, beshivtecha betecha, uvlechtecha vaterech, uvshoch pecha uvkumecha. Ukshar tam leho talya decha, vahayu le totafot ben enecha. Ukhtav tam al mezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Limahan tiskeru vasi tehem ekomit votai, vitem kiroshim lelohechem. Ahani adonai elohechem. Asher hotzeti etchem me eretz mitzrayim liot lachem Elohim ani Adonai Elohechem Adonai Elohechem emet. Page one hundred and sixty-one. Let's join together. Let there be love. modern composition based on the words of Hashki Venu. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Hashki Turn to page 164 as we prepare to recite the words of Adonai Sfatai to begin our Amidah. And I've been reflecting this week as we've been packing um, on a, all the different blessings that are in our life. It, it forces us to go through things and to really reflect on the goodness and the blessings um, both within our home and all around us. And on Shabbat, we have one of these opportunities um, to truly reflect on the blessings of the past week. 
So as you, I invite you to rise if you are able. And on Zoom, I, so if, rise if you're able. Um, <laughs> on Zoom, I invite you to place in the chat box words of your own blessings that you've experienced this week, words of gratitude that you want to share, blessings that you've experienced so that we can join together with words of Amida. Adonai, Sifatai Tivta. Fiagi, Fiagi, Tehilate. Adonai, Sifatai Tivta. Fiagi, Fiagi, Tehila Teha. Adonai, Adonai, Sephatai Tifta. Fiagi, Fiagi, Tehila Techa. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu, Vimotenu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizocher Chaste Avot, Vimahot, Ume vige ula liv nevene hem, lima an shemo be ahava. Melech ozer umoshia umagain, baruch ata adonai, magain avraham be ezrat sara. Ata gibor le olam adonai, mechaye ha kol atarab le hoshia, morid hatal. Mechal kel chayim bechesed, mechaye hakol berachamim rabim, so mech noflim berofe cholim, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato, lishene apar, micha mocha baal gevurot, Umido melach, melech me mit umechaye, umat miach yeshua, vineeman ata lehachayot hakol, baruch ata adonai, mechaye hakol. Ata kadosh, v'shimcha kadosh, ukdoshim v'chol yom yalelu chasela, 
Baruch atah Adonai Ha'el ha'kadosh Let's continue in meditation or using the words of the prayer book whether at home or in the sanctuary. When you've completed your prayer, we'll be seated. Shalom bim Roma Hu ya ase shalom aleinu Ve al ko Yisrael Ve al ko yoshve tevel Ve imru Shalom Aleinu Be'al Bo Yisrael Be'al Bo Yoshvei Tevel Ve'imru Amen Yadadai Yadadadadadai Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Ko Yisrael Ve'al Ko Yoshvei Tevel Ve'imru Amen We turn to page 371 as we offer prayers for those who are in need of healing of mind, of body, of spirit, or of soul. And so if you are thinking of someone in our sanctuary, I invite you to rise and we'll pass through and share the names of those for whom we are asking for healing upon them. And on Zoom, I invite you to use the chat box as well. Be 
us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say each Shabbat, we give thanks for the sacred moments, the God-given times we've shared during the past week. Or, and so, if you have celebrated a birthday this week, we invite you to raise your hands. There's one coming soon. I thought so. Thank Sherry Kosir <laughs> celebrating her birthday. Mazel Tov. Oh, birthday. Uh, Jerry Slavitt online just celebrated his 82nd hey, birthday. Neil? Birthday, Neil? Your mom. Oh. Happy birthday, Carol. So for all these birthdays, how about anniversaries? Any anniversaries? It's oh, the Mike. month of June, a popular month. Muzzle tub. I went, my parents are having their anniversary dinner tonight. So. Nice. Yes. Excellent. Muzzle tub. Other firsts this week, the beauty of summer. Well, is it yet? What's the date? June Coming 21st. Soon. Coming soon. Tuesday. So uh, for all these things, I want to say on Zoom, use the chat box to acknowledge them. Any others in the sanctuary? I just want to acknowledge that this is Rabbi Sherman's last Friday night here, so we want to wish you well. Soon you'll be giving your first sermon in <laughs> Chicago, but it's not next week, it's the week after, so you're actually get a little break next week to think about a what you want to say when you get A little break. There. Excellent. <laughs> Rabbi. Yeah. We just want to acknowledge Cooper and Elliot becoming bar mitzvah tomorrow morning. For well. sure. <laughs> exactly. Mazel tov. <laughs> Mazel tov to both of you. Mazel tov, mazel tov. For all these things, let's give thanks with words of Shehechiana. Yes. <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech I think another Shehechianu moment this week was that, if I'm not mistaken, Neil, that was our first hybrid congregational meeting ever? It was. So something historic took place at 5 o'clock this evening. It was the first TBE congregational meeting that's required by our bylaws that was actually a hybrid meeting because we had never heard of Zoom until a few years ago. And then the last two years, we've only been on Zoom. And so it felt really good to gather out back in the tents to be able to see each other around the table and then see other members of our community on Zoom as well. Uh, tonight was the night that we voted on our annual budget. And so I just want to thank all of those individuals who worked so hard in uh, making sure that we are well prepared to greet next year 
with a strong financial footing and a wonderful way to, to spend our resources. And I want to thank everyone who supports the synagogue financially to, for making all of that possible. Um, we not only vote on the budget, but we vote on our incoming officers. And tonight we uh, voted on one new officer taking over a very important role, and that is the vice president of our caring community team. And caring community is all of TBE in so many ways as we reach out to care for one another at the most joyful times of life and at the, the hardest ones as well. So uh, it's become a custom to um, use the sermon slot to invite the president to share a brief word and then call upon our speaker this evening. Neil. Right. Next time I'll show you what I wrote because my words just got briefer. <laughs> um, so as, as you know, we just held our first annual meeting in Zoom and in person in three years. And that is a Shehekiyano moment. Over the past couple of years, we all have had to call on our creativity and our openness to find our path to engagement, our path to shalom. So as Joel just said, in honor of this moment, he's graciously offered up the sermon slot to lift up some stories from our community. Um, we had lined up three stories, but as it turns out, two had to step away at the last minute for personal reasons. So although this moment will be a bit briefer than planned, it will be no less full. So I would like to introduce Paula Berg, our incoming Vice President of Karen Connection, who will share a few words about her own, journey, her own journey of belonging at TBE. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Neil. Uh, thank you for asking me to share uh, my personal story with you tonight. And thank you, all of you, for welcoming me as your incoming vice president uh, of Caring Connections. I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and my journey. I grew up in Fall River during the 70s, a time when all the Jewish people in the town knew each other. There were so few of us. We all belonged to the same temple, and as kids, we all went to the same Hebrew school. There was rampant anti-Semitism in my town, but no one ever called it that back then. I was subjected to anti-Semitic remarks and sentiment and that sense of being different was woven into the fabric of my childhood. And I also knew that being with other Jewish people at, any at that time in that place offered some safety from those sentiments. And it always seemed, those sentiments seemed to be brewing right under the surface, and I found refuge with the Jewish community. But once I moved away, I lost touch with a lot of my Jewish upbringing. I went to high holiday services with my family there, but other than that, I didn't even practice the rituals that I now understand offer so much peace and comfort, like a metronome quietly bringing us through the seasons of each year. Fast forward to 41 when I had my daughter. I gave her a Jewish name, and I instilled in her my values, Jewish values, but I needed to find her a temple home. And like many of us, I didn't have roots in this area other than the friends I'd made having lived here for my young adult life. My family didn't live here, and it was just me and my daughter. And so I looked around for a place that could partner with me in her Jewish upbringing. And so like many of us, I joined TBE for the purpose of giving my daughter a Jewish education. I wanted a partner in her Jewish upbringing, and that was my why, at least then. So my personal story most likely resonates with many of you. What brought me to TBE was my kids, or in this case, one kid. When I joined, Lila was about to start first grade, and most of the time that I was in this building, was sur I was surrounded by the school programming and the beat of that educational process. And during the time she was being educated, I enjoyed coming here, I would occasionally attend services, and I would enjoy the many, many events through her program. The connection, if you will, was my daughter's connection. But where did that leave me? And where does it leave any of us during or after the kids finish the Jewish education? What was my reason for being at TBE? And through those years she was going to school, I found a way to contribute. 
I don't know that I was consciously looking for connection, but on some level I wanted to play a bigger role, but it needed to fit in an already busy life. Using the structure provided by the caring community team, I could jump in as time allowed. And I liked that it didn't take much time. It fit into my schedule. It allowed me to give back in a way that I most love by looking after other people. I loved being there to provide others with a connection to TBE, to help others feel seen, and to help them feel known. Yet I still didn't feel seen or known. I was invested in caring for other members. I was grateful for the love and care the temple had always shown me and my daughter, especially through the B'nai Mitzvah process. But I still didn't feel that I belonged, not at first. Then one day, about a year ago, I got a call from the temple letting me know that my work on the Caring Connections team was helping and was valued. The work was making a difference. I didn't expect this call, as I'd just been doing what I love to do, helping where and when I can help. But until this call, I felt that my work was siloed, that it was just me doing what I do. And it hit me that what I was doing was helping to make the community stronger. And in that moment, I felt like I had a purpose at TBE. If after volunteering for many years, I still didn't feel that I belonged, Maybe there were others like me, people who are jumping in but still don't feel that sense of connection that had been missing for me. We all know that faith communities bring a rich source of connection, but we have to tap into it. It's right there for us. We just have to find our way in. And when we do, doors open and we will be received, we'll be seen, and we'll be known. I came across a speaker who coined this phenomenon as emotional philanthropy, and I like that idea. It seems that making a community where we all feel we belong means that each of us does a little emotional philanthropy, and in return, we open ourselves up to receiving that same emotional philanthropy. The giving and the receiving creates that connection that feeds our soul. To me, belonging is having a place at the table and a purpose for being there. At an even higher level, it's the ability to be one's, be one's true self while in the company of others. It's feeling at home with others, knowing their stories, and knowing what gives them the sense of purpose that they have for being there. My story of belonging is still being written, and I'm about to write a whole new chapter. I ask all of you to think together with me why am I at TBE? Is this place fulfilling what we hope to get from it? What is my purpose here? Do I feel that I belong? And if I don't, what are the things that can be done so that I do? I look forward to working with the board and all of you to connect, to share, to be there for each other, and to find ways to create in ourselves and in each other that elusive, but so fulfilling feeling of belonging. Thank you. Yasher Koch, Paula. I, um, I wrote this piece, and when I heard through Neil that Paula would be speaking about um, belonging in a Beit Elohim, a house of God, I, um, I changed it a little bit, so I think it'll fit beautifully with your message tonight. I hope. I find my sanctuary in your presence. I find my voice amidst your song. In this community, On a 
journey from one home to another. I stop along the way and see a vision of God. all the rest did I see an angel was I dreaming I find my sanctuary in your presence I find my voice amidst your song you're able, please rise for the Alenu, page 586. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol l'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit shelo asadu k'goye ha'aratzot v'lo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vigora leinu kechol hamonam Vaanachnu korim umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech malche hamlachim Hakadosh baru Vene Emar Vehaya Adonai Lemelech Al Kol Haaretz Bayom Ha'hu Bayom Ha'hu Iye Adonai Echad Ushemo Ushemo Continue with Mourner's Kaddish, page 598. And if you are a mourner in our midst, meaning you are currently within the period of mourning, meaning you're mourning a parent who passed during the past 11 months, or an immediate family member during the past 30 days, or you're observing a yurt site, meaning the anniversary of the passing of a loved one, we invite you to rise at this time, recite the names and relationships of those individuals you're remembering, or raise a hand. Sarita Zell. Did we 
reach everyone. I've also been asked to recite the names of Molly Sorensky, the mother of Diane Glick and Betty Solomon and Moses Solomon, the mother and father of Hank Solomon. We remember all of these individuals and let us all rise if you're able to stand with the mourners in our midst as they lead us on page 598 with the words of Mourners Kaddish. Yitzkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah v'yamad ivrach rute v'yamlich malchute b'chayei chon v'yomei chon v'chayei v'chol beit Yisrael b'agalah v'zman kariv imru amen yehei shemei rabah mubarach le'alam olamei omaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitramam v'yitnaseh Vit Kadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shmeid, Gushab, Rihu, Leela Minko, Birhata, Vishirata, Tushbehata, Benechamata, Damiran, Belma, Vimru, Amen, Yehe, Shlama, Rabami, Shamaya, the Chaim, Alenu, Yako, Israel, Vimru, Amen, Ose Shalom, Bimromav, Huya, Ase Shalom, Alenu, the Ako, Israel, Vimru, Amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. So I didn't bring up the announcements. Do we They're have right them? Here. They're Great. right here. We got some right for you. I know that Summer Institute continues. It is a robust program this summer. So we invite you to join us on Zoom throughout the summer. Um, it, it occurs at 12 o'clock each day. Something like that. I, I think there, yes. 12 or 1? I think it's 12. I think I it's 12. It varies every day. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then every <laughs> night as well. Um, and so Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. So we hope you'll join us. We also invite you to look for our emails throughout the week because so many things are taking place. Um, and I'm not going to mention them all, but a lot of social justice opportunities, book clubs. And uh, I see that um, Rabbi Baker speaking here on Tuesday. We have a civil rights journey that's beginning to fill up that's going to take place in November. We hope you'll join us. Um, so lots of good stuff. Let us now conclude with Kiddush and Motzi, and then we'll go into the atrium and uh, wish each other Shabbat Shalom. You ready? Cooper, yeah. can you take hold of that Kiddush cup? I got the words right here for you. Okay. Let's, let's join together. Baruch. Should I start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Baruch HaTadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atanai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitanu b'mitzvotav V'dras avanu V'shabat kachon V'ahav uvratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron l'maasei v'reishit Ki hu yom zechila Lemikra e kodash zechel ziyad mitzrayim kivanu b'charta beotanu kidasha mikol amim veshabat kochecha beahavaumratzon. In Chaltanu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh Hashabbat. Amen. You can take a sip. Should be juice, is it? Good. So we want to wish Elliot and Cooper on behalf of our entire community a hearty. Mazel tov. We will see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, before we go, I just want to thank Paula for your beautiful words. Really beautiful. I want to thank Cantor Zell for your beautiful song. And Asher, where are you? You were extraordinary in leading Amazing. us. Amazing. In ways, you've been around for a long time, but tonight you really... Um, 
serves as our shaliach tzibor, really a true prayer leader, lifting our prayers so much He'll be here, so here again next, next Shabbos before and he goes then, to I, camp. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just want to say, um, we begin summer services. If people want to <laughs> opt into delivering a Devar Torah through the summer, see me. I want to thank Neil and our board, and I want to thank Stephen Ashkenos, who does so much to make this place run. I was sitting there admiring the beauty of the service. The sanctuary is filling up again, which feels really good. The music is beautiful. The words are beautiful. And in truth, our sanctuary is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at this beautiful day, and I realized, why does it look different today? And then I realized they were rappelling down the windows about five <laughs> hours ago, cleaning so the clean. windows. <laughs> this is as clean as they get, everyone. So to look outside in this beautiful space and give thanks to God for the beauty that surrounds us is extraordinary. So let's give our gratitude one last time. Ready? Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motzi lechem min ha-aretz. Rabbi Sherman, you get to take the bite. Like the bar mitzvah boy. Oh, not that bite. Just kidding. And now let's say Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos.